Hey, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. So today we're going to talk about counters and timers and how you can add this to your own uh, PowerPoint presentations and games. So I have a lot of requests for um, some uh, counters and timers and how uh, you can apply this to your game. So I made a few examples here for you, which you can uh, use for your own uh, games. Um, so make sure you to watch the video to the end to see how you can do this as well. So here are a few examples that you can um, try out. Um, first, start by clicking the play button here. Mine's located at the bottom right hand corner. The first one we have is a basic timer counter. The next one is a digital uh, counter. And then we have a scoreboard flip counter. And then we have like a circle counter here. Then we have a cube uh, dice counter here. And then we have like a note counter. So these are just some example counters that I made. Um, you can also experiment with making your own counters. And if you haven't watched the video on how to do that, uh, please do so after this video so you can learn how to make your own um, counter and timer as well. So we'll hit the escape button and we'll add this to our game. To, that, to do that, it's quite simple. Just highlight one of the counters. I'll use the, the basic one here. Highlight everything, make sure you highlight everything. I'm using a MacBook, so I'm gonna hit Command C, or you can just copy. So I'm gonna do Command C. Then we're gonna choose a game. This is a new game that I'm working on called uh, Brawl Stars. And we can paste the counter in there. So I hit Command V on my MacBook. Now I have my counter. I just drag that down to where you want it. And you can shrink the size so that it fits. And we'll just angle it a little bit like this. Put the timer in there. And then I'll make this size a little smaller, maybe there. And then what we can also do is we can remove the background for the counter. So we go to um, Shapes, Format, Fill in Shape. You want to choose No Fill. And for the Outline, No Outline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it again. Command C, and hit Command V, and just drag that over here, like so. And we'll check it out. And there you go. You have your counter embedded into your game. Um, we could try another one. Let's try another counter. So maybe I'll try uh, the dice, uh, the digital one here. Highlight everything. Command C. Go to your game. And you want to hit. Uh, oops. Click outside here anywhere. And you want to hit Command V. Drag your timer 
or counter down and make it shrink it to the size that you want so I'll put this to about 40 maybe that's a little too small we we'll do 50 or maybe 80 maybe and we'll just shrink it a little bit put our timer here we'll shrink it a little bit more maybe there that looks it's almost perfect a little bit more and we'll angle it a little bit like that and we'll shrink the font the size a little bit then command c again hit command v after that and just put it next to your other counter and now you can test it out by hitting the play button And there you go. To change uh, the fonts and the shape of your counter is quite simple. Let's do an example here. Let's just grab uh, the first one here, highlight everything, copy it, paste it, and drag it down here. And you can change the font by going to the fonts. Uh, let's choose. Uh, choose this one nope we cannot do that one so let's choose a different font um, let's choose a Dragon Ball one I hope you guys find my video full uh, my videos uh, helpful and if you do please don't forget to comment like and share uh, this video and if you want more content like this don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I uh, post this on my channel. Again, thank you to all the subscribers who have already subscribed. And thank you to uh, the people who have already contributed to this channel as well. A big thank you. So here we have a different font. And you can change the color by going to shape format. Uh, Maybe you can change the shape to whatever color you want, maybe pink, and the text color to whatever you want, maybe a white, like this, and hit the play button. And now you have a different counter timer with different fonts and colors. And to change the shape of the counter is quite simple. Just go to sh uh, shape format. So if you don't see the shape format, just highlight everything. And you'll get the shape format option up here. Go to change shape and just change the shape of your uh, counter and timer. Maybe you want it to be like a diamond shape like that. And let's try it out. And if you don't like that shape, you can try a different shape. Maybe you want to do like a... Uh, like a cylinder shape, perhaps. You can do a cylinder shape if you want. I'll include the link to uh, these counters so that you can use them for your games as well. I hope you enjoy my video today. This was a quick video. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bells so that you can get my materials when I post them up. As always, thank you for watching my video and I wish you the best of luck in your classes. <laughs>